We're back and it's time for the final four in musical theater madness. I'm Colin Devon alongside Scott Miller, artistic director of New Line Theater. After lots of surprises along the way, we ended up with three number one seeds in the final four and with just three contests left to determine our winner. Anything can happen. Fatigue has to be setting in at this point. Which one of these giants of musical theater do you think had the hardest road to get here? Uh, it has to be Hammerstein. He had to face Hal Prince and Kander and Ebb. You know, a lot of people think Rodgers and Hammerstein shows are old fashioned, but they are still consistently among the best sellers at the Muni. People like what they've always liked. Well, and Rodgers and Hammerstein did move the art form forward in big ways, but their last show was 60 years ago. Remarkable staying power, but perhaps it's time for some fresh faces. So that's the case for Oscar Hammerstein. Now let's talk about why the other names deserve to be here. How about Bob Fosse? Well, musical theater dance changed massively because of Fosse. Before, it was ballroom and tap, but after Fosse, we had this incredibly eclectic dance vocabulary and a style that was utterly unique to him. You mean the turn-ins and the snaps and the hats? Yeah, none of that stuff was in musical theater dance before him. Lin-Manuel Miranda. He's really moved our art form forward. American history hasn't been this fun since, well, ever. And what's so special about Hamilton is that hip-hop is the default musical language. And hip-hop hadn't held the weight of a full-length serious narrative before like that. He's using a contemporary musical language to tell a historical story. Which makes these historical figures so accessible to today's audiences. Even King George. It took a long time for rock and roll to become mainstream musical vocabulary on Broadway, and Lin-Manuel has done the same thing with hip-hop, only on a much sped-up basis. Stephen Sondheim. <laughs> Where do we start? He's the favorite, but he won't be the favorite forever, so why Sondheim? Well, he loves writing about complexity, and he hates repeating himself. What else? He's fearless. He tackles subjects that nobody else would ever tackle. Colonialism, corruption, cannibalism. Who does that? Well, a couple others, but they didn't make the cut. There you have it, folks. All the backstage scoop from one of the best in the biz, Scott Miller. Thanks for all your support. We'll see you in June for Be More Chill at the Marcel Theater, and we'll see you next year for more musical theater madness. Good night.